In this video, we are going to take a look at free Chrome extensions for scraping Google Maps. These extensions will be more or less demanding depending on the results expected and the skills required. But don't worry, because I will explain it further in a moment. At the end of the video, I will also unveil a bonus Chrome extension you might like. But until then, let's start with our first extension, which is Instant Data Scraper. To make use of Instant Data Scraper, I typed Instant Data Scraper in my search bar. I click on the first link and I add it to Chrome. Now, how to scrape Google Maps? I've made my Google Maps search. I turn on my Chrome extension and I should end up with something like this. If the elements selected are not the ones you are interested in, you can click and try another table until you've got something that suits your scripting needs. I can also click locate next button, which doesn't make sense in our case because on Google Maps, there is no next page button. Instead, we need to implement an infinite scroll technique. So I check this box. It implies that in order to load more content, I have to scroll to the bottom of the page. I set up a delay and what we have here. We have a lot of data fields. Most of them are not really interesting, so I can remove them. And once I've got everything I need, I can click and start crawling. So I didn't touch anything. Instant Data Scraper is going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and each time it will scrape from five to seven data rows. And it's very likely it will stop once I reach the end of the list, which means 120 data rows. Indeed, on Google Maps, you cannot get more than 120 companies per search. As promised, 117 data rows. I can get my Excel file. In overall, Instant Data Scraper is the easiest Chrome extension you can use, and it has some interesting features. For example, Instant Data Scraper automatically identifies the scrolling area, which is actually super good because the scrolling process of Google Maps is quite different from other websites. It's not a default scroll process, it's a partial scroll. It means the scrolling area is located within a part of the web page only and it's not located to the entire web page. However, we can also find some drawbacks. First of all, the data fields have no names. Moreover, we don't have a lot of information. We have access to the URL, to the company's name, the rating, number of reviews, the category, and the address. In other words, we don't have access to contact details. We don't have access to data we can usually find by clicking on a specific element. See, here is a website, we don't have access to it, and here is a phone number. So how can we retrieve these kind of elements? Well, we can do that by using another Chrome extension, which is Data Miner. The same thing as for Instant Data Scraper. I click on the first link. This time it might be a longer process because you have to create an account, but once it is done, you have access to the Data Scraper Chrome extension. Data Scraper and Data Miner, it's the same thing. And to make the best use of Data Miner, I have to get the detailed page as a starting URL. And it's very fortunate because we have scraped the detailed pages thanks to Instant Data Scraper. I made sure that I've got the website and the phone number because we are going to scrape three data fields as an example, the title and these two data. I turn on my Chrome extension and we are going to create a recipe, which is the same thing as a script. Make a new recipe for this page. And as you can notice, we've got seven steps. We simply have to go through all of them and we will get our recipe. Time number two, choose the type of recipe, option one and option two. We want to script a detailed page. So option two, things are shorter now, we only have four tabs left. Tab number three. Do we have to do something before or after the scraping process? Not at all. Tab number four. What kind of data we want to extract? I will add a new colon. The first colon will be for the title. There are two different ways for scraping data. The first one is the one I recommend you not to do. It is a point on click method, meaning I click on easy colon finder, I type C, I've got my data, I confirm it, and everything sounds right at first glance. The point is, if I wish to scrape tens or 
hundreds of detailed pages, at some point I might get an error. Because if I take a look at the advanced settings, the way data miners scrape elements is based on the CSS selector. And in order to make the CSS selector as accurate as possible, it's always better if you write your own selector. So this video is not a course about how to write your own CSS selector, but if you know how to do it, it's better to do it this way. Anyway, I've done my homework and I wrote down every CSS selectors we are going to use. So for the title, it's simply H1. I add another colon for the phone number, advanced settings and button I label phone and I've got my data. Please note that these specific selectors will only work if you have set up English as a language. If you want to change a language, you click on here and language. And the third column will be the website. Here we go. And I've got my website. Tab number five, we don't need it. Tab number six, I save my recipe. Save as new, save as, and scrape in data miner. Now to scrape our different URLs, I click on crawl scrape. Load new crawl, I create a new crawl, and I copy and paste my different URLs. Let's take the first five URLs as an example. Here we go, I check them, recipe, my recipes, and GMAC. Curl scrape, I give it a name, I set up a waiting time, and I click on start scroll. I will get my results in the download tab, so it might take one or two minutes. Therefore, I see you back once it's over. Everything sounds correct. Maybe I could have written a better selector in order to remove the signs, but I can still do it afterwards. So it's all right. I download an Excel file. To sum up, Data Miner allows us to get a more comprehensive data set. However, it's still not the perfect tool. Indeed, we cannot do it in one try. We first have to collect all the URLs and then we have to insert the URLs in order to get the data we need. So it's a long process. Moreover, it's not a free tool. So I wondered, is there an over Chrome extension which could allow us to get the same kind of data, but in a faster way, meaning in one try. And I might find another one, which is Web Scraper. Despite the fact that Web Scraper is probably the best option among the free Chrome extension, it's also the most difficult tool from our list. How to make use of it? I do a right click and I click on inspect and I've got my web scraper tab. I create a new sitemap, which is the same thing as creating a recipe for data miner and I create sitemap. I give to my sitemap a name and I input the starting URL. The thing that needs to be understood is that web scraper works with the use of selectors, which is not the same thing as CSS selectors. And the hardest thing to do is to determine beforehand what kind of selector I need. I add a new selector and I need a selector to select as many companies as possible. I give a name, the name doesn't matter. And as a type, I select link because I have to click on each element in order to reach the detailed page. And I write my selector CSS here. The same thing as before, I've done my homework. And if I click on element preview, I've got five elements. It's all right. But if I scroll down to the bottom of the page, I've got 11 elements. If I do it one more time, 14 elements. So you get the idea. We have to scroll to the bottom of the page to get as many companies as possible. I check the multiple box. The link type is link read from H R E F attribute. And I click on save selector. I click on my ID and now let's extract our data. Add new selector. The first one is the title and the selectors are the same as before. H1, we don't check the multiple box this time. Save selector, add new selector, phone number, and save selector. Finally, the website, and here we go. One last thing before we scrape this URL. Alfu Web Scraper is a powerful tool. It cannot automate the scrolling process. Indeed, we can find an element scroll done selector, but the scrolling process will only work if we face a default scroll area. And as we have said before, we draw a line between the default scroll area and the partial scroll area. That is the reason why it cannot do it 
in an automatic way. Anyway, we can script the data now. I set up a higher request interval and a patch load delay. 10 seconds each time and I click on start scraping. To begin with, I have to scroll to the bottom of the page manually because it cannot be done in an automatic way. Then I have to wait for my data. I've stopped my task. I only needed a sample, sitemap gmaps and export data. So each one of the tools has their own advantages and disadvantages, but there is something all three tools have in common. It's that there are tools which are not directly related to Google Maps. It's too broad based and that's a part of the problem. So is there another tool which is 100% Google Maps related? And most importantly, is this tool easier to use? And the answer is yes. It's a Chrome extension from scrap.io. You can find the link to the Chrome extension in the description. This extension is free. I can add it in two clicks. But what has changed? Well, I'm going to reload the page and it seems I can have access to email addresses and social media links. So if I want to contact this company, I can do it with just a click. As simple as that. Another thing is that if there are multiple email addresses or multiple social media links, all of them are displayed. And that's the point. With this Chrome extension, contact details are displayed, but they are not directly scraped. So if you want to get a way to scrape this data, to scrape contact data, segmentation data, and much more, you can do it thanks to Scrap.io. Scrap.io is the ultimate solution for scraping Google Maps. With Scrap.io, we can get our CSV or Excel file of leads within a couple of clicks. I know people say that every time, but literally speaking, we can get our results within a couple of clicks. So what about I show you how to do it? To start with, we have to create our account in order to have access to our first 100 leads free of charge. Once it is done, I can have access to my search tab and it is here I can do my Google Maps search. I can type a specific category. There are around 4,000 different categories listed on Google Maps. For instance, if I type restaurant, I've got different kind of restaurants. I can choose a specific state, a specific county and a specific city. Maybe you are wondering why the states is linked with level 1 division and the county is with a level 2 division name. Well, it's because we can scrape leads from different countries, not only in the United States. So if I pick up another one, for example, France, in that case, states and counties don't make sense. This is why we call them level 1 and level 2 division. Depending on the plan you chose, you have access to more or less filters. But with the first plan, I can scrape leads based on a specific city. I click on search and I've got an overview. The good news is that I can set up more filters if I want to. For example, I can only have access to companies with at least one email address. Then I can export my data. And all the exports I've done so far can be found within the My Exports tab. All that remains to be done is to download a CSV or Excel file. And here is the data fields you can get. Scrap.io has been created to be as simple as possible. You don't need to implement CSS selectors. You don't have to worry about the technical aspect. You simply enter a location and a category and you've got your result. From the data fields, you can get columns such as email addresses, but also SEO related data, such as the website's name, metadata, or add pixels. You can click the link in the description to get your first 100 leads free of charge and if you have any questions, please you can ask them in the comments or directly contact our customer support. This is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If it's the case, you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. The end.